Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today, as we cover work, energy and power, we are looking at power, which is the conclusion of the, um, the segment of work, energy and power. So this is basically the last video covering the theory on this topic and the videos that you will have will be where we deal we give you examples in details okay so what we're going to do we're going to discuss uh, to define what is power and also give you examples right and also give you examples so by definition what do we mean by power so when we talk power we're basically saying it is the rate at which work is done Okay, it is the rate at which work is done. The rate at which, oh sorry, the rate at which work is done. Right? It is the rate at which work is done. So, this basically, the symbol is P. Okay, the symbol is P. And W is the work done, while T is the time. Okay, while T is the time. So work is a scalar quantity. Time is also a scalar quantity. Therefore, this means power is a scalar quantity. So we only are interested in magnitude only. And it is measured in units watts, named after James Watt. Okay, capital W. Okay, now another thing that you should know is this. When you look at this formula here, it tells you that one watt is equal to one joule per second. Okay, it is equal to one joule per one second. Okay, it is equal to one joule per one second. Okay, so you guys remember that when we were defining work, we said work is a we said work is a um could also be defined as the transfer of energy from one object to another, right? So you can also define power as the rate at which energy is transferred to or from one system to another. Okay, to or from one system to another okay so um you asking yourself why are we saying work is a scalar quantity when when we discussed uh, i mean why power is a scalar quantity when we discussed work we we're saying basically we can say it's a scalar it's a vector quantity um we are careful when we say uh work is a vector quantity but indeed our calculation showed you that work is a vector quantity because it is related to force, right? And force is a vector quantity. Okay. Right. So, now, this is the formula that you use for power, right? Now, another formula that you use for power is when, um, maybe say when an object is moving at constant velocity, okay? So at constant velocity, you can still find power of an object. Remember, power is equal to work over time. So we know work is F delta X cos theta over T. However, in the case where we calculating the power, the force applied and the displacement will be in the same direction. Therefore, this will basically be cos 0, which is 1, right? Which is 1. Now, you know this part here. You know this part here. Um, yeah, this part here, let me do this. This part here, you know it is velocity, right? It is velocity. Velocity is the rate of change of displacement. So, this therefore tells you that Power can also be a product of force multiplied by 
velocity, constant velocity, right? So this is another formula. So we have two formulas. Power equals W over T or power equals F times V. Remember, this velocity must be constant velocity, okay? This velocity must be constant velocity, okay? It must be constant velocity. So, now, now, let's look at it. So, we have covered almost everything that we need. This is all that we need. The only thing that we need from this question is to calculate, um, what is this, is to, uh, is to get, do examples. And I think I should also mention to you that pay attention to what your question is asking with regard to your with regard to your W, what work done are you looking at? Are you looking at the work done by friction? Are you looking at the work done by um, applied force? Are you looking at the work done by? Be careful as to what work term you're looking at. Okay, be careful. So this part of work term, you have many ways of calculating your work. You can use a work energy theorem. You can use a work done by non-conservative force. All of them are working okay all of them are working but be careful right be careful in how you attempt this right so now let's now look at examples so there is there are examples that i liked uh, from your textbook and um there's a there's a textbook that i looked at i think it's i think it's um solutions for all I liked um, the exercises given there. So I will take um, a question that says, example. Example. I will take a question that says, no man, why am I using such a big fight? Um, it says, a builder, a builder of mass 75 kilograms is carrying bricks is carrying bricks up a flight of stairs okay bricks up a flight of stairs up a flight of stairs right there are 40 steps there are 40 steps each okay there are 40 steps each each 25 meters high or 25 centimeters high there are 40 steps each 45 centimeters high and he takes 10 seconds wow and he takes 10 seconds wow and he takes 10 seconds to climb the stairs, right? To climb the stairs, right? To climb the stairs. Not just that, to climb the stairs, carrying 15 kilograms of bricks. Oh, wow. 15 kilograms of bricks. Okay? At a time. We are not done. So the question is, Calculate, the question is calculate the total power, calculate the total power, um, calculate the total power output, calculate the total power output of the builder during, of the builder during the climb at a constant velocity, at constant speed, during the climb at constant speed, at constant speed. Okay, so this is one example that we're going to look at and then you will have other examples in, um, in videos that will be covering examples. For now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to give you one. So let's look at our data. 
So we have a builder of mass 70 kilograms. He's carrying bricks up a flight of stairs. There are 40 steps, each of 25 centimeters high, and he takes 10 seconds to climb the stairs, carrying 15 kilograms of bricks at a time. Calculate the total power. Okay, now I see what I'm having is, I want you to see this. So there are 40 bricks and sorry, there are 40 steps and these 40 steps and these 40 steps are 25 centimeters high. So we can therefore say our height is, I'm going to say height or displacement. Okay. I'm going to say height or delta Y. Okay. Height or delta Y is 14 times. 0 0.25 remember 25 centimeters is equivalent to 0 0.25 meters all right so what is our answer it is 10 meters right it is 10 meters so what we see we're seeing something like this so this is 10 meters right this is 10 meters all right so so we are okay this is 10 meters. Now, what we're looking at now is, okay, basically this person, shall we say this person is traveling 10 meters up the stairs? Okay, that's fine. 10 meters, that's fine. Should I even say this is um, 10 meters? Um, it's okay. It's okay. So let me just say it's, yeah, it's 10 meters. I think it's fine like that. It's 10 meters. All right, it's 10 meters. Now, one thing you had as well is that the question said he takes 10 seconds to climb the stairs. So what is his speed? And they say his speed is constant. So his speed is delta Y over delta T, which is 10 meters over 10 seconds. What is this? This is one meter per second. All right. So we also as we can see now it seems we will use p equals um f v however we do not have however we do not have the force but we can find the force because this is similar to say mg v so let's do it p equals m g v sorry p equals f times v so the force here to get the force, we're basically looking at the mass of the object. Here is the mass of the builder, who is 70 kilograms heavier. And was he 70? Oh, he's 75. He's 75. He's 75 kilograms heavier. And he is carrying 15 kilograms of bricks. We multiply that with 9.8, right? multiplied by the speed we found, which is one. Now, what is our answer? 90 times 9.8, 90 times 9.8. Our answer is 882 watts, 882 watts. So 882 watts, this is the total power output of the builder during the climb at the constant speed. Okay. This is 882 watts. So I looked at this question and it was, it was interesting for me. And I was like, mm -mm, I think this one is the one that I should use as a, uh, as an example. Okay. This is one that I should use as an example. So don't worry, there will be more examples, but this is it. You need to know what your question is saying. Pay attention to the work term that you are using. And if you have to find force, pay attention to the force that you are using as well. Okay? So this is it, guys. This is how you calculate power. There are more examples coming your way. So this is it. Have fun. And bye-bye.